Hey, Eli here. Today I want to talk to you about Evoto AI, which is a retouching software as well as editing. I've been using it for retouching headshots and magazine work for portraits. And so today I want to give you just a little run through how I've been using it and how it's worked for me. It's a really neat software, really powerful, can do a lot of things. Uh, number one would be skin retouching for me. And number two would be like flyaway hairs. Uh, and there's just a lot of control, a lot of sliders. Pretty much anything that you can think of for retouching for headshots and portraits, they've thought of it. So there are just a plethora of options. So I'm just gonna to touch on a few today. Uh, number one rule for me is when I take headshots, I have a conversation with my clients and say, what do you want me to retouch? You know, I'm obviously gonna look for temporary things that are blemishes, uh, scars are gonna stay unless they ask me to take care of them. You know, it's totally up to them, but I don't wanna over retouch something for someone who just, you know, doesn't want that. So I will just always, like I said, have that conversation and then go from there. And uh, yeah, so today I'm going to walk you through the software and just show you how it works. Oh, my wife's calling me. Be right back. Hey. Bye. All right. Cool. She's at work. She's a nurse, labor and delivery, and I am here. So where was I? Yeah. Have that conversation with your clients and just make sure that... Uh, yeah, you're not <laughs> picking stuff out on their face that you think they don't like because, <laughs> you know, there's no way we would know. Um, so, yeah. And like always, I just I don't want anyone to know that I was there retouching an image. I want it to just look like natural. And I think this software, from what I can see, is really good at that. Um, you know, you can always have, you know, 100, 0 to 100 percent control. But uh, but yeah. So today we're mostly going to pick on my face uh, and <laughs> a little bit on my wife. And then I've got. Uh, some chiropractors who are sporting their shirt today that I photographed their whole staff and the two owners I'm just going to kind of just do a quick you know because I'm working on their retouching right now so I'm just going to show you what this thing is capable of um, first of all it does uh, isolate male female child and elderly um, yeah and then you can individually pick faces when you are doing multiple people which is awesome that's something that in the beginning uh, Photoshop had trouble with but now can do so this software is really fast and just the way that it does work, so you know, you're gonna pay for credits. So you're gonna buy like 1200 credits as a minimum. I think it's like 80 something dollars. I'll flash it up on the screen, but you'll pay for credits and then you can just play with the software to your heart's content. And then when you decide to export, you just, that's when you start to pay, you know, what, seven cents per image or less, depending on the packages you go with. But it's nice to have a software that you're not paying monthly or annually. You just pay when you use it. I think that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's kind of a new method, I think. Uh, from what I can tell, I do that with develop. I'll probably be going, you know, unlimited with develop at some point. But uh, but yeah, so you're going to pay per image, and that's just kind of how things have been shifting with the AI editing. So, But it is nice. You can just see it, do it, and then if you don't like it, don't use it. <laughs> so pretty cool. So I recommend using the link in the description. Um, you get 30 free credits with that, and then you can, you know, play with it as long as you want. Pump 30 out and see how it looks as a JPEG. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into the software here. We're going to look at my face. This is a photo I took last year on my 41st birthday, which is kind of a, a weird, fun way for me to celebrate getting older. <laughs> so uh, half my face is shaved and half is not, so we can kind of see what it does affect with beards. So we're going to start out. It says male up here. It's already recognized, I think. Yeah, if I click on a girl, oh, it doesn't recognize it. So um, yeah, so you want to click male or female, I guess, to decide. So I'm just going to go through every feature on this panel on the right side. And first is going to be freckle and acne. You can click in here, and then you can isolate those two. So obviously, we want to keep freckles for people that have freckles that are beautiful with freckles. And we don't want to eliminate that, but we can click those sliders. And down here on the right, we can just click a before and after. So we can see what it's doing on my face. Here we go. You can see on the sides there, it's toggling on and off. And just really, I think, seamlessly cleaning it up. You know, I'm not noticing any over retouching. So we'll take that off for now, just so we can see the next one. Body blemish. If we go down, that would be like if someone's chest is showing or my neck. You can see that just 50%. Just clean that up instantly. You can always back it off. So we're just gonna go one at a time. Uh, I've got face shine. So I guess if I was a little too bright with my lights, I could eliminate that. Let's go 100%, see what it does. And then we'll go all the way back. Zoom out a little bit here. And then uh, forehead and face wrinkle, you know. See what happens. 
There we go. I don't got a lot of wrinkles on my forehead, but I guess it would eliminate them. Yep, there we go. My mom and dad said, as I was growing up, as many wrinkles as you have on your forehead is how many kids you're going to have, but yeah, I guess it didn't happen. <laughs> All right, eye wrinkle. Let's see what it does. Let's go 100% on these. Let's see what happens. Boom, look at that. Look like I'm 35. <laughs> and we'll go back. And then dark circles under the eyes. I don't have deep set eyes, but if I did, I think that's where that would come into play. Uh, glasses glare. I have a really quick video on that. It, it's not in this one, but man, it is powerful. A uh, really cool feature. And it just takes that glare away right away. So I've had some friends try it out and say that it really helped. Eye bags. Let's see how this does. Yeah, I don't have too big of eye bags, but it does do a little bit. You can see there. So I go all the way up. Toggle it on and off. And I'm, like I said, I'm just going to run through these as fast as I can, but you really just need to go and take the time and just download it. It's free to use until you export and just, just play with it. Smile lines. There we go. Looks like I don't smile, but I think smile lines are good for me. I'm a happy person. I smile a lot. Used to get in trouble for it in high school. Neck wrinkle. Yep, got some neck wrinkles there, so I don't mind that disappearing. Double chin is pretty cool. I used it on some folks that, you know, just subtly did have a double chin, but it just gave some definition under their chin. And what it does is it kind of shadows under there. And on some folks, it's really, really cool. I've got a bit of a protruding chin, so doesn't really need it for me. Uh, beard projection. Let's see what that does. I don't know what that would do. I guess if we look here, we can see once the feature is activated, blemish removal, skin smoothing, no longer. Yeah, yeah I don't know. So down to skin retouching. All right, we can smooth the face skin, and I guess you can remove it and dodge and burn it, which is kind of cool. I haven't really dove into that too much yet, but we can see the difference it makes on my face. Cleaning it up. And then I guess, yeah, we've got body and face separately here. So face all the way down. Body and skin. Okay. And then skin texture. Don't really mess with this, but I guess you could take the glossiness out if that was an issue. Let's see the before and after. Oh, I guess it's making it glossy. <laughs> there we go. So the opposite of that would be more matte. So don't think that's necessary. I got my light pretty good on this one. Texture, not gonna mess with that. Clarity, I'm good. I've already edited these images and these are these are JPEGs, by the way. So uh, uniformity, new, uh, AI Unify Face Complexion. This is interesting. So I guess it just kind of broadly, yeah, smooths it out. That's kind of neat. And body complexion would be the body. And yep, another one there. Hmm, this is interesting. I don't know what this will do, but let's find out. If I click here. Oh, that is interesting. I guess it gives, gives me a little tan. It's kind of cool. And we'll just get rid of that. I don't need that. Temperature, I've already done. Uh, skin radiance, yeah, don't need to brighten myself up. And if you want to, I guess, make yourself a little more rosy, you could. So don't need to do that, I've already edited it. Cool, so I'm gonna go to the next one, which is facial reshape. This one is pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> eyebrows, eyes, nose, mouth, there is a lot you can do here and I'm not gonna go through all of it. But um, let's just do um, face size. <laughs> That's so interesting. Um, I don't think there's a few s cases where I did use this just to give guys a little thinner face. Um, but yeah, I think it is so interesting. Um, there's just so much you can do. And, you know, you might have to do this if you shot it at a wrong angle or something. But, you know, like I said, I always have that conversation. If someone say they want to they want to be thinner, thin them up. But do it at like a 5%. So yeah, you can move a lot of different things. Uh, very interesting. Uh, hairline, you can bring the hairline down. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, I'm sure in some scenario this will be useful. Um, just, yeah, not today. And smile, you can add a little more smile, which is always fun, you know. <laughs> you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, touch up teeth, wow, whitening, brightness. Let's see what this does. Teeth, I don't have teeth, so never mind. Maybe we'll do it with one of the other guys. All right, eyes. Okay, not gonna, yeah, we can move the red veins out of the eyes. I don't really have a lot in this photo, but if I did, that's kind of cool. Uh, makeup, we're not gonna do with me because I'm a guy, I don't wear makeup. Hair, this is my favorite. Okay, watch my hair. We're gonna go straight hair. I don't have a lot of straight hairs, but if I did, well, maybe we'll find one that does. And I'll go before and after. 
let's see. Oh, got to move it over for it to work. Okay, go before and after. So with girls, we have like really um, just a lot of little strays. Maybe we'll get in a couple of these with females, but it is phenomenal. Like this is like the number one feature. I'm just, it's really cool. Um, so here you decide figure um, beyond figure outlines and then within. So I guess within would be more like uh, straight hairs among the hairs, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, that'd be my best guess. So, and then you can do full body reshapes. You know, you can mess with the neck. So if someone had a really thick neck and they wanted to bring it in a little bit, you can do that. <laughs> Oh, it's fun. Um, yeah. But yeah, all right. So there is that. Uh, that is pretty much all the retouching features just on my face. And then you've got one that's kind of cool, and I've been playing a little bit with this, is the background. So you can change out the background. Obviously, there's AI tools in here, so it's it's isolating things. So I just went in. I, I downloaded a couple of backdrops just for fun and just to see, like, what, it, you know, you can play with these, find backdrops that work for you. And then uh, you just need to size them properly to fit the scenario. Because uh, there's not a lot of control on, I think, I don't think you can change the size of the backdrop. But, um, that I know of. But it's pretty cool. I mean, like, this one looks somewhat natural. Um, you know, of course, you're going to find something that, that looks right. But you can, you know, play with it. They've got some in here already. You know, there's a bunch. You can go and look through and, and see. Yeah, here's more. And just kind of see what they've got. So... Blue, gray, that one's kind of subtle, black, that one looks pretty good. So yeah, if you want some texture, you can literally upload whatever you want, um, which is awesome. So you could even make your own if you just want to photograph some, you know, backdrops with like a little bit of bokeh bokeh blur or something or, you know, do that. And you can adjust the edge if you think it's looking a little funky on, um, yeah, look a little funky on there. And then you can save presets. So I just made a couple presets for myself. One's guys, one's girls. Uh, you know, girls might have a little bit of lips and eyebrow enhancement, things like that if it's needed. But if I just click myself, retouch guys, it's one click and that's done. Like it's so fast. Uh, if we eliminate this background, we can see, let's see here. Yep, revert that. So yeah. Before and after, always check your work and see, just make sure nothing weird happened. I haven't had anything weird happen in the software, but generally I will do this as a secondary edit. Like on my neck here, you'll see maybe like had some blemishes. I'll probably take out the big stuff in, in Lightroom and then rely on the overall edit on this one. So kind of a fun one. Uh, let's go pick on my wife. Oh, this is going to be a good one for straight hairs. All right. So I'm going to go back to retouching. And down to, there are so many things I gotta find it. Um, where did you go here? All right, let's just close these. Skin, face, smile, teeth. Gosh, all right, there we go, found it. All right, I'm gonna go 100% on straight hairs. See what happens. Yeah, it's so nice. It just removes a lot of them, and a lot of them with inner hair too. You can see like the ones that were coming across here, just super cool. So if I just click the one that I made for girls, see a before and after, and you want to keep it subtle. Uh, I think that's subtle enough just to add a little extra oomph. So looking gorgeous. And then this is my buddy over at Pangea, right? And we're just going to go, let's just click retouch guys and see what happens. And that's one click. You know, I mean, it's it's pretty darn cool. Just subtle. We don't want to go too far. I want people to recognize him. I want him to look like him. But like with light, when you add a ton of light, you start to see all the imperfections on faces. And no matter how soft it is, you're just going to, you know, you're going to see extra stuff. So we just click one click. And I've just made these presets. I made them in like a minute. And you can see the straight hair is just disappearing. And just a good way to finalize your images. And Andrew, my buddy, right here. You're gonna see those stray hairs on his head just kind of disappear and we can always bring them down if we need to. Like if it's taking away too much hair, if like someone has really frizzy hair, then you're gonna wanna, you know, watch that. But just a subtle, boom. So 
I mean, this would take me a lot longer um, to retouch these. I would generally do it all in Lightroom for the most part, and then I might do a little bit in Photoshop with some neural filters where it just isolates the skin and, and I would erase around the eyes. But this here, happy to pay seven cents an image or whatever uh, to get these done a lot quicker, a lot better, well done. I mean, just like, yeah. So my process, I haven't shared my whole process, I don't think, but it's in, I, I edit in Lightroom and then I come over here and just finish it off. So I leave a lot of that leftover stuff. Um, I do whiten teeth and brighten eyes in, in Lightroom, but uh, but yeah, check it out. Uh, like I said, link in the description for 30 free credits and generally you get five. And uh, their pricing structure is interesting, but it's like, it's very reasonable. Uh, yeah, super cheap for what it does. But you can also dive into all of the other features and I will as well. Uh, you know, I've only been using this software for a few weeks, so I'm still learning it, how to navigate it. Most of the hotkeys are pretty similar to Lightroom and Photoshop. But, uh, but yeah, still learning it all and just um, even just not knowing it well, still really fast and you don't pay for it till you export it. So go check it out and thanks for watching. Hopefully this is helpful. If it is helpful, let me know. If you use another software that you like, let me know. And if you use this, let me know. Uh, be good to know. I don't know how long these guys have been around. I had seen some Instagram ads with them and I just hadn't clicked on it. And then they reached out to me and it's been awesome. Good relationship with them. And yeah, it's been great. So have a good one.